corporate girlies are up. We are ready. Today is the first day. Hi guys. hi guys welcome back to my channel um i just came back from work day one day one of being a corporate hand day one so today was day one of induction and yeah i'm just gonna briefly very briefly tell you guys about how my day went um <laughs> it feels surreal it feels surreal but those who know me know how much i prayed for this job just to tell you guys how much i wanted this job eh, from the beginning so in 2023 last year when i was doing my honors our first assignment for the risk module which was prs or performance and risk strategy p3 uh, our first assessment was to look at a JSE top 40 company and pick one, look at their integrated reports and their risk register. And I chose the company that I'm working for because girl was already dreaming about it. I was just like, I want to work here. <laughs> I want to work at this company. So I was there reading their integrated report, um, looking at what they were up to, and um, I, I'm not going to cry. I will. I, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting emotional talking about this. By the way, there's low shedding, so that's why my lighting is a bit jan jan, but you know, you guys don't mind, right? So yeah, anyway. So that's how much I wanted this job, right? I remember the lecturer being like, oh, I realized that someone has already submitted their assignment. I am very impressed with how it looks like because I was just like, that's how much I really loved this company. Um, I have had, at that point, I, I had limited information about their SEMA program, but I knew that I wanted this company, right? Um, and then fast forward to okay and then i applied so um i applied uh, i think around march i applied and yeah it's quite a long recruitment process so you don't know if you're gonna go get in and went through the whole thing it's not my psychometric assessments um the first round of interviews and then we had the assessment center the assessment center was basically like um a combination of interviews powerpoint presentation and um uh, what's the other thing role play so i remember the day before i uh, know the day of the assessment center was the day before i was writing test four for financial strategy and i was just like you know what i don't have time to i had to choose we could see which one am i prioritizing more i decided i'm gonna prioritize um 
financial no the assessment center over financial strategy so i started studying for that test way before and i was like you know what what i studied will have to be enough for me to be fine um so that the day before i am not i don't need to study because i like in that week i'll be busy preparing for the assessment center i prepared for that like i've prepared for interviews you guys know i have a video about how to prepare for interviews and at that time i had already been through a lot of interviews throughout the year let me take off this thing by that time uh i had sort of like experience with interviews so i was like okay you know what here i just need to make sure that i prepare more than the things that i've said on the video things like uh, going to the assistant lecturer so that we can simulate that ethical dilemma. Um, asking people who already work at the company, like reaching out to them on LinkedIn. You, you will be surprised that people are actually so kind and um, people are always willing to help if you just ask. People are actually so helpful if you ask for help. Like... So I did that and on the day of the assessment center, I was so nervous because I felt like um, I was stressed about my test week because I was writing that week, two, two, two tests that week. And was it test three or test four? It must have been test four. Test four counts how much? I think 30% of your year mark. So I was actually like sacrificing a test that counts 30% of my year mark for an assessment center for a job that I might not even get. <laughs> so I was so stressed. I was just like, I hope, I hope I'm making the right decision by not studying for this test the day before, instead like preparing for the assessment center. And on the day, I remember i i think I, I still have some videos i took on the day i remember i prayed in the morning and god said to me uh <laughs> god said to me that this door is already opened you just need to walk through it and i remember the holy spirit really impressing that message on my heart that this this door is already open you just need to walk through it and i was nervous but after praying i just felt a sense of peace and confidence just like okay you know what let's just go and do our best that's the best we can do right let's just go and do our best and i went there and i met really amazing people talented people really bright students like amazing people and um i try my best to be calm i try my best to like remember everything that i have done to prepare and just remember that this is my game like this is not about anyone else this is just about me because i think when you enter into a room where you feel like you are not as bright as other people or maybe your english is not as <laughs> twang as other people's english or whatever it is that might be building up in your mind um sometimes we discredit ourselves right we we tell ourselves okay maybe i'm not good enough whatever but i was just like you know what this is my race and let's just get through it so we went through the whole assessment center thing and um we came back waited for a couple of weeks and then i got the email I was rejected for the job I did not get the job and I was like I cried I would not I will not lie because I think I got the email the day before my first day of exams and I cried like to a point where I felt like it was not worth it to write the exam okay that was just me being ridiculous um, I think I was just in my fields. I cried. I called my friend. I was like, I was rejected. Like, this is not how it was supposed to go because I have been wanting this job since the beginning of the year. Like, since February, I was reading their integrated reports. That's how much I wanted this job. I did everything that I could. Like, I do all my research. I talked to people. I tried to network. I, like, everything that 
like I won't mention some things, but there were things that I did deliberately throughout the year that you guys might be able to pick up from my channel as well that I was doing deliberately in preparation for this job. Like that's how much I wanted it. And then now, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? But okay, you know what? I've had, I've, I've had rejections before. Um, I applied for a lot of jobs last year, by the way. I, I don't know how many jobs I applied for. I lost count um, of all the applications that I sent out. And this was not the first job. Obviously, it hurt the most because I wanted it the most. But we moved. And I was like, okay, it's fine. You know, I accepted it. Maybe like God is saying it's not meant for me it's not the right time or whatever um and i was like okay it's okay and then fast forward about six weeks later or so i get a call from the manager she calls me and she's like hi precious um i am so and so from blah 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 the name of the company and she's like uh we're wondering if you're still interested in the job ah uh, like what uh, you're wondering if i'm still interested i could not believe it it like the way that i have dreamed of that moment so many times i've played it and replayed something like that in my head so many times that when it actually happened it felt surreal like I literally she didn't know what to say and she was like are you happy because she, I, I, I just she couldn't tell from my reaction if I was happy or not or if I was disappointed I was like of course of course I'm happy of course I want the job of course I want the job and yeah that's how we got here um I am one of six trainees in the program um we the program has both psycha and sima trainees i am one of six so today they were actually like telling us the stats of the number of people that applied the number of people that went through to the assessment center and only six people were selected and i was one of those six people <sighs> guys when i tell you even today just walking um up and down that building felt like a dream like it felt like an answered prayer it and it felt it, it literally is an answered prayer because um yeah god has been faithful god has been good um i think my story is a testimony of the fact that god is good you know like and he's a god of second chances and He's able to turn around everything and work it out for our good um, and and make the, the story so much more beautiful than we could have ever imagined it could it could be. And I'm actually one of two trainees who are in the SEMA uh, profession. And yeah, to just think that I'm just one of two trainees um, who are doing SEMA in itself is like such a... a, a prestigious privilege and like blessing you know and i do not take it for granted so yeah today was day one of my job of induction um it was fun we did like with i mean they're easing us into into the into the company so i'm enjoying it we did a bit of painting um yeah we were there painting and then touring the the building and looking at job work and everything it was it was beautiful <laughs> it was so beautiful so i will try to insert some videos for you guys i couldn't obviously record everything vlogging at work <laughs> you guys asked me actually i was reading some of the comments from the video for the giveaway by the way the giveaway is still up um until the 10th of february so if you haven't watched that video, please go and watch it and enter the giveaway. I am giving away two take a lot vouchers worth 500 rand each. So you don't want to miss out on that. Um, it's very easy to enter the giveaway. Just go to the video and you'll get all the details. Anyway, um, you guys are asking me for a day in my life vlogs. Man, I really want those because there's not a lot of SEMA day in, like, day in the life of a SEMA trainee vlogs on YouTube. 
So I would really want to do that. But like vlogging at work is, is something that I'm still going to um, navigate and, and stuff like that. I'm really sorry about the quality of this video. But yeah, it's low shading. It is what it is. I could not um, get a better lighting. And also it's raining. So if you guys heard the rain, then yeah. And it's whatever. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. <laughs> What's the reminder? Okay. I didn't give up. Okay. I continued and I pushed on. Mm. I found an alternative. Mm. An alternative. Keyword. So, Keyword. Uh, the message is don't give up, just look for an alternative. Yes.